and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fallon and I do budgeting and fitness videos. Just wanted to come on and do January's budget with you guys and wish you a happy new year. I know I'm a little bit late. It's already the 13th of January and I'm getting ready to get paycheck number two for the month. So I'm going to go over uh, my full budget view for January as well as break down what I paid with my first paycheck and then also go over what I plan to do with paycheck number two and my plans, a little bit of my plans for paycheck number three. So if, if you're interested in that, stay tuned and don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as that like button. All right, guys, let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the um, paycheck dates, paydays, payday, first job, and then also I'll receive, I receive a check from my second job at Target. So then this will be payday number two this week. And I will receive my last check from Target on the 17th. And it will be a little small check because my last day working at Target was the 4th. It was just getting to be too much with my um, trying to study for the CPA exam. So I decided to call that quits and going to try and find a side hustle that works for me and my schedule a little better. Yes, and then last and final payday. Let me adjust it will be on the 30th from my main job, my full-time job. Number three, number two. All right. So the everything that's happened before my paycheck number two has already been paid. Summer tides okay. have already been done and rent I do let's see my car notes on the 15th student loans on the 17th let's see we had Hulu, a cell phone, oh, and my utilities. Ooh. Can't write today. And then my American Express is usually due around the 23rd, I believe. So I'm going to put it on the 23rd. And this time, somehow, my STARS account got switched to my um, MX card. I think it's because I made a purchase on my Amazon account with my MX, and it just switched everything. So this will, this balance will include my STARS, gym, my Adobe membership, and my renter's insurance. So that is pretty much for the overview. There are not any birthdays in January that I know of that I'm contributing to. So that's that. Um, no, nothing I can think of to budget for on my calendar, to note on my calendar for this month. No field trips for Trey, no extra dues for Trey. Um, oh, I did get an eye exam this month. So I did, I knew that would be around about and that was on this day, on the 9th. So let me put that in. I exam in context. So we'll go over that when I list out everything, the amounts of everything. And so for this month, my goals will be, I've already started and I'm doing pretty good, is to not eat out at all this month. And I say no eating out at all, but I mean like spending extra money for eating out because I did have some Christmas money earlier this month that I used to buy me lunch. I think on like New Year's Day and New Year's Eve. Well, no, New Year's Eve I used before. 
so yeah but that wasn't january yet technically <laughs> so yeah um i did use my cash like my christmas cash to buy food and stuff that i wanted to do that was extra but as of now i'm pretty much out of my christmas money <laughs> it wasn't that much so that has been spent but for the rest of the month i plan to not spend any money on eating out and try and stick with my grocery budget of $80 a week because last month y'all I destroyed my my food budget it was not good I completely went over so that's why this month I'm trying to scale back and not spend anything on eating out so those are my goals now let's switch to my oh, to my paycheck budget Twenty twenty. I have to get used to writing that twenty. Ugh. And I put paycheck number one. Let's start with my tides of one seventy five. what goes rent of course just 1030 37 <laughs> and then put utilities my utilities this month was $180 and 94 cents this is a little higher because I've had guests and stuff throughout December so that's a little bit more than it usually is and then let's see car note $295.76 um, Hulu Five ninety nine. Cell phone. Forty five ninety nine. That's everything that's coming out for my first paycheck. I mean, utilities card note, Hulu, sale. Let's look back over the full view. And we're going to go ahead and put in my eye exam and contacts. I originally thought it would be around 150 for my contacts and eye exam. So I was close. It was 146.71. Later and add that up. I guess I use my phone. That is everything. All right, so that total is eighteen eighty seven thirty nine. And then we want to do groceries. Yes. Of course, for these first two weeks is one sixty and ninety. So I think that is it for that month. Excuse me. So yeah, and I had a little bit. Well, I had quite a bit of money left over from last month that rolled over into this month. And so I was able to put away a thousand. And this is for gonna I'm gonna put for moving expenses because I do plan on moving once my lease is up, um, and maybe before then. So I'm gonna stick away, um, save a little bit for those moving expenses. And if I do move before my lease is up, I'm going to have to pay, you know, for breaking the lease. So that's why I'm putting this to the side. And then also because. Um, 
I won't be purchasing the home, but I'll be renting again. So I have to pay that first month's rent as well. So I'm going to set a thousand dollars away for that. And let's see. So yeah, so that was, that is pretty much it for this paycheck. Oh, cash envelopes. I'm not going to worry about writing out my cash envelopes for this paycheck because I didn't take out any cash and, um, but I do plan on taking out cash on my, on this next payday that's coming up. So let's flip over and do paycheck number two and budget that out. So, let me here. Ooh. That's a little rough. Put 2020. Paycheck number two. Okay. So let's go ahead and write. I know we're going to have to pay American Express. And. This is one more thing, right? No. No, oh, student loans, student loans are due on the 17th. I knew there was something else. Okay. So, let me bring this over here. I'm going to say, I don't think MX is available for me to look at yet. But it's usually around $80. So, I'm going to budget 90 for it. Because um, the stars went to it this month. And then for my student loans, it's 336 So. So we know that my expenses are 426.68. I do not think there's anything else I need to pay from this paycheck besides those two things. And then, of course, groceries. Still budget 160 for that for the next two weeks. Gas will be 90. And so, also my paycheck will be just a little bit more, but I'm trying not to because of our annual raises. But I'm gonna try not to, you know, dip into that either. But I know I'm going to save more towards moving expenses. Maybe another 500. And then cash envelopes. Oh, I do have one other thing I forgot about. So I'm do cash envelopes for beauty. Oh, can't spell today. Beauty household. Beauty household. I forget what else I usually for myself. I'm going to take out some for Trey. And I usually do fun money. But I am going to take out. Um, but this is my Christmas money my sister sent me. So I know I'm going to take out 100 for myself. And then 10 for Trey. Household, I want to do 30. And then beauty, I'm going to do 25. So what's that? 55, 65, so 160 I need to take out. I want to take this out in cash, so I need to go to the bank. And then move this is 500. Oh, and then I had an unexpected doctor's bill come up and I want to say it's like 105 so I'm a budget 106 I have the bill in there somewhere but I don't feel like I want to look for it right now <laughs> so Let's see where that leaves me at in comparison to how much you, now on this payday, I will receive my 
full-time paycheck and so yeah so I will be receiving two paychecks again and one of those will be from my second job at Target and I'm expecting that one to be around about one we'll say 110 not that much it wasn't that many hours on that so yeah so that's be where a little bit of my extra income comes in it So for the month, it's 126.68 plus the 500 I want to put away plus 160 plus the 90 another 160 and the 106 for the doctors and that is a total of top down here one forty two sixty eight. That leaves me around about three hundred or so left, so I'm gonna put it with my moving expenses, so eight hundred and then when I do get ready to move and I don't use all this money, I will use that to pay towards um, my next smallest loan, which is my car loan. So that will be the one that I'm working on this year for the first part of the year. Hopefully, I'll get that paid off by June at the latest. So, yes. If you didn't watch my previous video where I showed where I paid off my smallest student loan, I have paid off my smallest student loan. So now I'm down to only three debts. There's two student loans and my car loan. So my next one that I'm working on is my car loan. So I'm excited about that. Great way to go into the new year with paying off one of my student loans. And so yeah, now I'll be focusing on my car. So with that being said, let's go on over and I will do my debt snowball update. Show you guys where my numbers are as at the beginning of the year. So we have my car loan, which is my smallest, and my student loan. The smallest one is 1-1, and then 1-2 is larger than that. So let's see. My car loan now is at $5,100. Student loan is at $23,295.59 and number two is at $45,511.86. That is a total. That brings my loan balance or my debt balance to $73,969.66. That's a lot. Can you all see that? Those are my snowball numbers, and this is at January 2020. So yes, that's where I met you guys. Um, I think that will do it for this video that showed you my paycheck number two budget. We have one more pay payday this month, which will be at the end of the month, and that will go towards. I know for a fact going towards paying my. Um, rent for the first of the month and then I'm um, hopefully I'm going to be able to put a little something towards my car loan so that's that are my those are my hopes um, them try to be working towards so yes guys I hope this new year has started off great for you guys um, don't forget to comment and subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and until next time guys I will see you in the next video bye